Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz and today I'm going to be setting up my new planner. I have recently fallen down the rabbit hole of planner YouTube and decided that I needed to set up a new planner. I have been using this planner, but like I, it's just not like I haven't really been using it. I, I like the idea of using a planner and I always buy one and I never end up using it very well. So like I like like I used this week and then like nothing. Like and I try to use stickers and it just it wasn't what I wanted. So I have this new planner that says slow down, deep breath, start again. I absolutely love this planner. This is an 18 month planner from July 2022 to December of 2023. So what I did was I took out April through June from the current planner that I was using. And I'm going to put this into the front of my new planner. I also took out the majority of this planner. I took out the entirety of 2023 and I think, um, November and December as well. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert the the next three months into the front of this planner. So I have started, I've put a couple things in my dailies and stuff, but I'm gonna start, let's see. I'm gonna pick June. <laughs> So as you can see, actually, so this is the month, which I haven't really done anything with. And then I have like a couple of things here. This is actually my current week. It is currently Friday the 15th. I tried and, you know, I put some stickers in here and I kind of liked how it turned out. But then I did next week and I am in love with it and I cannot wait to use it. It's already, like, I love all of the bright flowers and everything, so I'm very excited to start using this planner. I have kind of made it my own. I believe this one was, like, priorities, and then, I don't remember what that was, but there was, like, a to call section and everything, so I made it my own. I made it uh, printable, so, like, things I want to create for my planner. I've actually already made a few of these. Um, things I need to do and like some stuff. So I'm very excited to actually start utilizing this. And before I move on, I made some things for my week. Let's see. So I have my little, is this a dashboard or, or a bookmark or something? I'm not entirely sure what it's called. But I just, um, I took a piece of scrapbook paper and wrote today on it and then taped it to the top. And on the back, I just put some sticky notes. So, put that in here. They are mowing outside my apartment. So you, actually they're not mowing, they're leaf blowing because apparently they need to do that when there's no leaves on the ground. It's okay. All right, and then let's see, I created some things. So first of all, I have this, this is just like a notes paper and I wrote some like planner ideas and stuff. So that's going in here. And then I have, this is a weekly tracker, um, but it has a lot of different weeks on it. So it's just, I created this to kind of keep it um, at the front. That way I don't have to keep writing it. So I did write social media, Instagram, and TikTok on here. I don't actually, <laughs> um, I don't know why I put those. It's, I was like, I thought about creating a um, planner Instagram. I enjoy looking at other people's spreads. So I thought maybe I'll do that. I don't know why I put TikTok. I have no idea what I would actually post on TikTok. So we'll see if that actually happens. And then I have, let's see. I have a weekly meal plan sheet. I actually got this idea from At Home With Kita. And I just kind of designed it after hers. So it has my meal plan and then a grocery list. So anything I need to buy, I write on here. 
And then I actually added this on the back. I just have it divided into sections because I'm really bad at grocery shopping. I can never, like I'm always having to go back and forth because I forget things. So hopefully that helps. And then I have um, expense tracker because I'm trying to get better at budgeting. And this one, I really don't know what I'm gonna use this for yet. I thought about using it for maybe like a chore checklist because I'm not the best at keeping my apartment clean and organized. So I thought maybe if I could do something with that, that might help me. All right, so this is my week. Um, I may get tired of having all of these here and move them to a different section, but for now, this is what I have and I like it. So let's move to the back, let's see. I went ahead and put this one in here um, I did this the same way. I wrote household on a piece of scrapbooking paper and just taped it to the top. So this section is going to be my household section and I made some dividers for it and I'm very excited about it. So I just took some scrapbooking paper and I traced um, one of the dividers from the Happy Planner. So I just traced it and then cut it out and punched it. And I like how it turned out. I think it's really pretty. The back is blank. I want, I don't know what I want to do with this, but I want to do something because I want to utilize this space. I don't want it just to be blank and like useless basically. So we'll see. But my first section I created was cleaning because like I said, I'm really bad at cleaning and I'm trying to get better. So I made some stuff. So the first one I made was this cleaning checklist. And what I hope to do is use this for zone cleaning. And so I have a section for things I want to do every day. Um, kitchen, laundry room, bedroom, living room, bathroom, and monthly. And this is really specifically for my apartment. And then I found this decluttering challenge and I'm not 100% sure where I got it from. So if you know, I'll try to find it and link it. Um, but I've just been watching so many YouTube videos and I've been like Googling and trying to find a bunch of stuff. So I really don't know where I found it. Um, but I made this chart. It was not my own chart. I did not come up with it. I do know that. So I'll have to figure out where I found that. And I wanna add more. I just don't know what to put yet. So for now. Oh, I do have another one of these so I'll just stick it in here because as of this moment I think I'm going to use it for like zone cleaning so like I'll use these zones and decide which zone I want to do each day we'll see we'll see how it goes all right the next divider I have is meal planning because I definitely need help with that so what I have right now it's just more of those weekly meal planning sheets. I probably will put, um, I've seen people have like fridge inventories and pantry inventories. So like you know what you have on hand and even like a list of things that you should always have. So I might put some of those in there, but for right now, this is all I've got. So if you have any ideas, you should definitely let me know because I am always looking for ways to give me more motivation in the kitchen. My next section is budgeting. So this section is like a combination of things I've created and the Happy Planner Budgeting Expansion Pack. So this is from the budgeting pack. And like I was trying it out just to see if I liked it. And it's not bad like overall, but like I had, like I wanted a very specific, I was looking for something very specific. So I created this sheet because I'm trying to do um, cash envelopes. So I created my first one. It's small. There's not that many envelopes in there because I wanna like really figure out what I'm doing. And I really do, I am, I do have a really low income for the amount of bills that I have to pay. So I don't have a lot of cash to stuff. I'm hoping to, um, I'm looking for like some part-time jobs or some like side jobs that I can do to increase my income because I also have a lot of debt that I want to pay off. So I'm working on that, but I have this budget planner and it has like the monthly amount that I expect it to be. And then how much I want to put from paycheck one and paycheck two, because I do get paid bi-monthly. 
bi-weekly. I get paid bi-weekly. I always get that wrong. And then on the back, I have my cash envelopes. So I would write what my envelopes are, the amount I want to put in them. So this would be like week one and week two, or paycheck one and paycheck two. And then uh, how much of each like dollar bill amount I want in there. So I hope, I, I think this will work. I haven't got the chance to try it yet because I do get paid on the 5th and the 20th of each month. So my first time actually using this will be on the 20th, which won't give me a real accurate representation because it's a month planner, but I'll have an idea. And then these are from the Happy Planner, like the budgeting pack. So this just has like some financial goals. I do wanna fill this out. I just have to kind of figure out what my goals are at this point. And then, like I said, I have a lot of debt to pay off. So I have some of these sheets in here, which I really do like. Um, some savings trackers. I have not, I don't know, like, like I said, I have really low income, so I don't have a lot of money to put away for things like that. Right now, I'm like, my main thing I'm saving for is like a month ahead on expenses. If I can get a month ahead on, on expenses, then I feel like I can actually breathe for a moment and maybe think about other things to save for. And then I just have some like notes pages. This was the first, I was like trying to divvy up some cash. So for my envelopes. And then I have weekly uh, trackers. And I also have, let's see, I had, here we go, this. I have an idea of what I want to do for this, right? So in my wallet binder, cash binder, I do have a place for receipts. And so my plan is as I get receipts um, for each week, I will stick them in my uh, wallet and use the, uh, da, 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 I gotta find it first, this sheet to track it. So like each week, this is where I'll track it. And then at the end of each month, I will go and transfer it all to here and put them all in, in this folder, just to kind of get a really good monthly overview of everything. I may not end up keeping receipts. We will see. Um, honestly, I just really like this, uh, this envelope, so I wanted to use it. All right, so that's it for budget. And then next I have personal. So this is kind of like a catch-all section of things that I didn't have enough, or I didn't really feel the need for an entire section on its own, so it all kind of went under personal. So the first thing I have is this, my ideal schedule sheet that I made. I really love how it turned out. I love the colors. Um, if I ever actually use the schedule and stick to it, I will be very surprised. And honestly, it would be amazing. I would love to do that. I have some yearly habit trackers. Um, this is like model, oh my gosh, I'm struggling. This is like modeled after the, the year in pixels trackers that you see. I don't know exactly what I'll use it for. I may use one for mood because I do like, like I have seeing a yearly overview, but we'll see. I don't know what I'll use the other ones for yet. Then I have a wellness tracker. So these are just extras. So this is a weekly tracker that I made. So each week you track your steps, water, and sleep. I have like a meal tracker and then a self-care tracker because I think that's important, especially for my mental health because I don't have the best mental health. And then I have this extra thing down here. Maybe I'll just use it to like decorate or something or use it for like motivational quotes or something. Um, I will start, my plan is to start using these on Monday. Then I made this super cute weight loss tracker in the past. It's like, this is my catch all notebook. In the past, I have done this as well. Like just written it out myself and I really like it. It's really motivating. This is from 2020. Um, it's been a while since I've done that well on my weight loss, but 
I probably will make each of these like one or two pounds. Um, I feel like when I try to make it a bigger amount, like five or 10, and you don't get to like color it in as much, it's less motivating. And so I feel like, you know, I get off track. So I really like how this turned out. I think it's super cute. I love the bees high-fiving. I probably will include uh, or make another sheet for it like I did here. So I have my measurements. I will make one for like my measurements or something to keep track of that because that's also, I feel like a really motivating representation of progress other than scale. Okay, and then, so the last thing I have for my personal section, actually I have two more things. Oh no, I just have one. So I have these yearly and quarterly goal sheets that I made and I love the way they turned out. I'm very excited to use it. I probably, I know it's already April, but I did do yearly goals and quarter one goals in this. This is my current one. I'll probably just copy them over into here. And then I have one for each quarter. So each page has a focus a section for work, personal, and spiritual, and then breaking those goals down into each month, and then planning for like what's coming up in the next quarter, or there, is there anything I can do these three months that'll make my goals even more attainable the next quarter, if that makes sense. And then I just have extra of these sheets that I will stick in the back here. All right, I have this folder, which currently just has some extra cash envelope trackers that I made for my cash envelopes. So I just stick those right there. And then the last section in my planner that I have is my faith section. I wanted faith to have its own section. It's just very important to me that I put emphasis on it. So, Faith has its own section. Right now, um, I'm using most using this mostly. So this is my prayer journal and daily scripture writing journal. So for each day of the month, I write my daily scripture and each month has a like theme. So this month is blessings in the Bible. And then I have like my actual prayer journal stuff in here. I also have um, my Bible reading trackers for the year. So I'm actually doing pretty well in that. I'm proud of myself. But then most of my Bible study comes in the form of my Bible, which you're not here for this, but I'll just show you an example. So I write my notes for my Bible study in my Bible. However, I did create a few sheets that I use. So the first sheet that I created are character studies and I have these in several different colors in here because I just think they're so helpful and so cute. But like this one I did for Job. And then I also created a book of the Bible. So it's like an overview of the book. So for this one, I did Ruth. So I keep these in here. Um, I may also put like my uh, verse mapping sheets in here and maybe like um, sermon notes if there's any I want to keep in here. I don't know if I'll transfer it all but you know it'll all I may start just doing it in here and it'll all be in one place. The last section is just I just have this this is a, a wet erase dashboard and some just extra like notes pages and stuff in the back and then another pocket so that's all that's in the back so that's my planner I have this little pouch that I keep some sticky notes some pins uh, some white out in there and so it just goes on the front like this and there we go I'll do a real quick flip through.
that is it. I am super excited to use this new planner. I think I will be a lot more productive and actually stick with it because I like how it turned out. I really like all the sections. I'm getting more into the decorating aspect of it. So I'm very excited to use it. I hope you liked this video and I will see you again next time. Bye.